George, what do you like best in the whole world? Dinosaur. <laughs> Ooh, dinosaur. George's birthday treat is a visit to the museum dinosaur room. Huh, silly old dinosaurs again. <laughs> dinosaur. <gasps> Be frightened, George. It's not a real dinosaur. It's just a robot. Look, I stand on this spot and. <laughs> and now there's another surprise. <laughs> All of George and Peppa's friends are here. Surprise! <laughs> Mummy Rabbit has made a birthday cake for George. Can anyone guess what sort of cake it is? A dinosaur cake. It is! What an amazing guess, Peppa! Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, George! <laughs> There's one last surprise. Follow me. <laughs> what is the last surprise? What do you think it is, Pepper? It's probably something to do with dinosaurs. Oh, what's that? <laughs> it just needs to be filled with air. I know, I know. It's a bouncy castle. Pepper loves bouncy castles. But if it's for George, why isn't it something to do with dinosaurs? <laughs> it is a dinosaur. A bouncy dinosaur. <laughs> George loves bouncy dinosaurs. Everyone loves bouncy dinosaurs. This is great! Happy birthday, George! <laughs> Bedtime story doesn't seem to be working. I'm the expert at telling bedtime stories. I'll have them asleep in no time. Ah, a scary chicken! <laughs> Emma, George, back to bed. But Grandpa hasn't finished the story yet, Daddy. I'll finish the story. I'll be down in a minute. <laughs> Okay, there's a boy, a beanstalk, a castle, a beautiful princess, a brave knight, a cook, a wizard, and a scary dragon. And a very hungry king. So they all had a big dinner and lived happily ever after. The end. Then they had a party! And all their friends came. <laughs> right, I think I'd better sort this out. <laughs> Daddy Pig. They're almost asleep. <laughs> Thank you. I'll take over now. You have to finish the story, Mummy. All right, quickly now. Tell me what's happened. Once upon a time, in olden days... A long time ago. Mummy Pig's been up there for a long time. I can hear snoring. At last, Pepper and George are asleep. And then they all lived happily ever after. The end. Pepper? George? Shush! Mummy is asleep. <laughs> it looks like Princess Pepper is the best at telling bedtime stories. That's right, I am. <laughs> Georgie said, I will carry you there. So Georgie Pig walked to the end of the world. He walked and he walked and he walked. Are you sleepy yet? No. He walked through forests, across mountains, across seas. And are you sleepy yet? No. He walked all the way to the end of the world and found a big box of golden treasure. Ooh. And a big dragon. Grrr. Yes. A big green dragon with little wings and breathing fire. Roar! 
Luckily, it was a very friendly dragon. And he said, you can have the treasure. But then Georgie Pig began to shrink. He shrank and he shrank and he shrunk until he was the same little Georgie Pig as he was before. How will we get back home now? said Baby Bear. I can fly you home, said the dragon. So Georgie Pig and Baby Bear hopped on the dragon's back and flew all the way back home to the little house in the forest. And then it's the end. George is asleep. Pepper is asleep. Pepper, what are you doing out of bed? Night time is for sleeping, not playing. Night night, my little piggies. Sweet dreams. Pepper and George are in their little beds, fast asleep. <laughs> this passage has led us to the dining hall. Wow! This must be the medieval banquet. Yes, it looks really tasty. It's all made of plastic. Yes, it's to show what a real banquet would have looked like. Oh. But of course, as part of the tour, you get to have your very own real medieval banquet. Fantastic! Here it is, your banquet in a box. The oldie cheese sandwich, Jester's pickle and a king's jelly. It's a little picnic in a box. Yes, it's not quite the medieval banquet I was expecting. And now it's time to meet the dragon. <laughs> George, it won't be a real dragon. Dragons are just pretend. Yes, don't be sad if it's just Miss Rabbit holding a little glove puppet. Oh! Wow. Wow. Miss Rabbit is driving a huge robot dragon. Do you want to see it breathe fire? Yes, please! <laughs> I'm just going to park it! Oh, it's heading for our car! Another reason we say cars are parked at owner's risk. And that's the end of the tour! Hope you had a lovely time. I think that was George's best day out ever. <laughs> George loves castles. Everyone loves castles. Anyway, there was also a dragon. Dinosaur! A dinosaur? Oh, yes, it wasn't a dragon. It was a dinosaur. Living outside was a huge, fierce dinosaur. Oh dear, maybe the dinosaur wasn't quite that fierce, Daddy Pig. <laughs> Sorry, George. No, the dinosaur was very gentle. It ate lots of grass. Daddy Pig! Oh, sorry. I was being the dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, why is the princess called the Sleepy Princess? I'm coming to that. You see, the sun set, then the stars and moon came out, and everyone got very sleepy. <sighs> but the most sleepy of all, was the sleepy princess. <sighs> Pepper, are you sleepy? No, Daddy. I am not sleepy at all. But somebody is. George, wake up. You'll miss the end of the story. Well, Pepper might not be sleepy, but the sleepy princess certainly was. Looking at herself all day in the mirror had completely worn her out. <sighs> Let's carry you to bed. Good night. 
The sleepy princess was so sleepy, she had fallen fast asleep. Thank you for that story, King Daddy. You're welcome, Queen Mummy. And our little prince and princess enjoyed it too. Come on, everyone. Coming, Daddy. <laughs> Daddy, I'm Queen Peppa. You must bow when you speak to me. Oh, I'm most terribly sorry, Your Royal Highness. And what do you do? I'm your daddy. Hmm, that must be very interesting. Yes, it's very interesting. And what room is this? This is the dinosaur room. The dinosaur room? George, this is the dinosaur room. <laughs> dinosaur! Where is the dinosaur? He's somewhere in the room. I can't see him. He must be very small. Actually, Peppa, he's very big. <gasps> wow! These are the bones of a real dinosaur. <laughs> dinosaur. <laughs> George imagines being a big dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> the dinosaur room is George's favourite room. <laughs> My favourite room is the king and queen's room. And it looks as if Daddy Pig is already in his favourite room. Which room is that, Mummy? The room with the cakes in. Daddy Pig's favourite room is the museum cafe. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, tuck in. Oh, yes. This is a very nice room. <laughs> <laughs>